So did you get any news from the doctor? Anything at all? Not good news. We're sending his colon cancer. Oh man. I, I can't believe it. How long did they say he has to live? Days. It's really sad. All he ever talks about is how much he wants to go in a swimming pool one more time. That makes sense. I mean, him being an Olympic swimmer and... Congress just deciding to ban swimming pools for some bureaucratic reason. It's devastating for him. I really wish there was something we could do. Well, you know, maybe there is something we can do. Maybe, just maybe, I go out, I talk to some people, I get some connections, and I can take this up with the president. He'll listen to us. I mean, that's his job, to be the voice of the people. And we can make sure that our father will swim again. There has been a massive increase in approval rating for Congress after the Public Safety Water Initiative passed this week, effectively banning all pools across America. Both parties call this a patriotic endeavor, saving countless Americans from the tyranny of chlorinated water. Hello. Hello. Thank you for being with me. Of course. I have some connections for you in Washington. If you're willing to go through with this. Uh, of course, I mean, I don't really know what to say. Do you think the president will even help me? That I'm not so sure about. You see, the president is sort of special. He was sort of a joke at first, and people started voting for him, mainly as a joke, after his whole mosquito massacre yeah. uh, and his Waffle Wednesday initiative. Um, but mostly now, he, since he's our commander-in-chief, uh, he might want to be controversial and help you out. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Greetings, fellow Americans. It's David Green, President of the United States. Pleasure to meet with you today. Pleasure to meet you too, sir. I'm here for Oh, something. oh, oh! Norm. Norm! Yes, yes, I'm Norm, yes. Yes, Norm. Did you hear about that coring thing, you coring lover? <laughs> Fish die in coring. You know that? Sir, if. I may interrupt. Don't interrupt, son. That's rude. But sir, my father is dying. And if... Your father? Your father? Many people have fathers out there. They're called voters. They're called Americans. Polls show Corrine down. Corrine kills. But sir, aren't I a voter too? What about justice? What about the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence? The whole prospect of patriotism. I mean, we live in a land where we should be free to not only live, but swim in whatever body of water we choose. And at the end of the day, isn't that what patriotism is all about? And even some wise words there, my friend. I tell you what, come on an eight state tour with me. Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, South Carolina, Florida, stuff like that. We'll go, eight state to state, campaign, then, you know, by when and come November, our Congress drafts some legislation about this corning. How's that sound? Sir, I don't know what to say. I mean, this could be... Hello? I'm sorry, bro. Dad passed away just a few minutes ago. He died calling out your name. Well, son, how about it? Sir, um... <laughs> my father just died. And that settles the problem, doesn't it? I... I can't do this. <laughs>